Hi. Hi, hi, Tom. Hi. Good to hi, see Tom. you. Hi, Michael. Good to see you. And uh, great to be here at Intertraffic. Yeah. Um, and Mitronic are uh, showcasing some new um, technology for urban access regulation, as I understand it. Can you, can you tell me about uh, a bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So our, our point is that, uh, that we have a lot of challenges in urban traffic right now. It's congestion, it's uh, air pollution, and this is becoming increasingly a big topic. And we have uh, developed a solution, what we call urban vehicle access regulation, which is basically related to, uh, to uh, pollution reduction and to traffic management. And we are using an AI-based sensor in order to, uh, to, let's say, realize it and to enforce it. On yeah. the screen. Yeah, and this is a big thing right now. I mean, uh, the, the latest edition of our magazine, we were talking about uh, the, the low emission zone in London, but this is a big thing all around the world, and you've got a solution for, uh, for urban access regulation that's quite new. Ab absolutely, what we call it indeed urban vehicle access regulation. That's a concept we developed to improve the traffic situation in the cities. And indeed, London is a good example. I mean, congratulations, what, what the people in London did. I mean, starting with the congestion charge and the, uh, and the low emission zones. And, uh, but this is coming a big topic now on the, let's say, on the continent. So in France, in Germany, in Poland, and uh, we are focusing on this topic. And we have developed a, uh, an AI-based uh, technology to support such urban emission zones and, uh, let's say, urban traffic zones. It's a basically a platform, it's a hardware platform and in the same time a software platform. It can do basically all sorts of things. It can detect vehicles, it can detect pedestrians, motorcycles, it can classify, it can detect speed belts. So it's a kind of multi-purpose platform and everything, as everything today, is now based on AI which is a wonderful improvement in terms of technology, by the way. I mean, a couple of years before, we were doing machine vision. We were image, doing image processing, taking a lot of effort and programming in order to achieve some very good results. Now we're doing a, basically with AI on a, on, a, on a trial and error base. We are teaching the AI based on a lot of traffic data to recognize, for example, seat belts. I mean, we're doing speed enforcement, and in, in parallel, we're doing uh, 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 we're trying to enforce uh, drivers who don't wear seat belts or with, who are using smartphones. And this is all done in a, in a trial and error base, based on the existing data what we have from the from the projects. So, if you're a city, you can deploy one of these cameras with the software as well, and you can get multiple multiple functions out of this single Absolutely. deployment. Absolutely. This is, this is the idea. I mean, there's a lot of technology all, already out on the, on the roads and uh, traffic enforcement, red light, uh, uh, red light controls, all type of video cameras. Our concept is to combine them in a, in a single platform and to teach the platform to, to be able to support multiple applications. Another thing is, I mean, it's about, it's about money. And uh, I mean, congestion charging, uh, this is as well a, a, a means of getting money in the infrastructure. So this we shouldn't forget. I mean, the cross financing, for example, from the private cars to the public transport is important important benefit of these systems. So it's not only about regulating and protecting the environment, as well improving the, the, public, uh, the public transport network. Uh, Tom, I, I would like to invite you to, to have a look around. Uh, I want to show you uh, our smart center platform. Let's go. At the beginning of the process, there must be a, an excellent sensor capturing excellent pictures. What you don't have in the box, you cannot process. So um, we think it's always the, the chain which counts. But here on the, on, the, on the booth, we can only display the, the, the hardware. That's why you see it here. You can equip it with different camera types, with a 1.5 megapixel camera or up to 50 megapixels. We have integrated infrared flashes. We have two camera slots. You can use it for overview images or for two cameras. So it's a very flexible front end sensor and can be adapted to, uh, to basically yes, what the customer is uh, uh, requesting. Be it, for example, bus lane enforcement, seat belt enforcement, um, vehicle detection, 
It's all about the product.